Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking off handles from a side-by-side -side refrigerator. Okay, here is our side-by-side -side refrigerator, okay? Now the brand is a GE, you can see that's the model number. Now, there's two reasons why you'd want to take the handles off, off of the side-by-side -side refrigerator. Reason number one, if you live in a rental or if you live in a house and you have to move, okay, and this refrigerator will not fit through the door frame with the handles on, take the handles off, okay? Re uh, reason number two, if these handles get damaged, broken, nicked, scraped, or, or, or dented or any way, shape, or form, okay, you want to take the handles off, okay? So you have. All right, so here are two items, okay? We have a plastic cup. Okay, to hold the screws. Okay, it could be even smaller than that. This is what I had. Okay, so hold the screws. And here is the Allen rent or the Allen wrench set. Okay. Now let's take the handles off. Grab your grab your Allen wrench set. Okay. You can either open up the you can either open up the freezer door or refrigerator door. It does not make a difference because both handles have to come off regardless. So I'm gonna start with the freezer door. So open the freezer door, put your foot down, put your foot on the bottom, but on the side, on the bottom, okay, to hold it a little bit more secure, okay. Now I look at the, I look at the elements, the uh, screw, okay, it's not these three. Now I have to find out which one will fit, okay. There, and the size, and the sizes are on the back of them, which the sizes are on here, but the, I'm not going to lie. But the sides are a little confusing because with the sides are on here as well as on the back. So it makes it harder for me to find out exactly which size it is and stuff like that. So it, it'll still work this way. All right. So, no, nope, ain't going to work. Okay. So put that one down. All right. Now we try. Nope. And, yep, there it is. Okay. So, all right. Just to, just to show, okay? Now, if anybody has an Allen wrench set like this, okay? And you have to you have to do this, okay? Now, the size is it's the third one, see? So uh, it's kind of, it's kind of really hard to it's kind of really hard to see this, but so you got first, second, this is the third one. And in the other the last three are first, second, third, fourth. Okay? And it's this one. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so it's the fourth. So it's the fourth one from this side. Okay, so I'm gonna. Okay, so now what we wanted, we want to basically put our hand on the handle. Okay, not full force. Just put your handle. Put your hand on the handle. Okay, because I don't know if the I don't know if the screw is gonna come all the way out in my hand. Okay, all right. So if it you know so if it does that, you just want to be able to take the you know take the screw out and put it in the plastic cup. Put our foot right there. Okay, put, put your Allen put your Allen key in there, or Allen wrench. Keep calling Allen wrench key and wrench. Okay, put the Allen wrench in there. Keep turning it. Okay. Oh, okay, so now, now the screw did not come all the way out, but now the handle is away from the top, of the, way, the handle is away from the door. Okay, keep, so keep your hand on the, keep your hand on the handle to, like this. Do this. Unscrew it, okay, and shut the uh, shut the refrigerator door or sorry, freeze the door, and there you go. See that? See that? There's a oh, there's a hole here, and there is a hole right here, okay. And what that basically does is that there is a I guess what you call an hour wrench nobble or or like nibble whatever it is, okay. Because this this is an also hour wrench key too or hour wrench screw, okay. So in case this gets damaged or whatever it is, but they rarely do, I guess. Okay. So in order to put that back, so what happens is that now there is a, there's the screw. You can see that right there. Okay. And right in the inside of this circle of this hole is the other end of the screw. Okay. So the other end of this screw bumps up in the middle, right in the middle of this. Okay. So let's put that one down. Now let's open up the, uh, let's open up the refrigerator door. Again, the same thing, put your foot, hold, hold, put your foot there, okay? Do like this, okay? Comes off, and do the same thing, 
okay? Hold it, sorry, I forgot to tell you, hold it, my bad. That was actually my mistake. Hold it, okay? And then it comes right off like that. Shut the uh, refrigerator door, and there you go. And it's the, it's the same thing, okay? Screw, screw, screw the ins the screws at the under end of the screws there, you run the screws there. Repeat the same process. Okay, now we're gonna put the handles back on, okay? So, handle, so handle number one, or not really number one, but okay. So put the handle, okay? So now before we put the handle back on, on top of the refrigerator, there is a uh, seal up in here. So between the seal and the, and the refrigerator, here, and then pull on, and then pull on and freeze the door. So open up the freezer door, just, just how I showed, okay? Put, put your foot on the bottom, like, like it was before. Grab your handle, okay? See, knob there, goes in there. Fits on the bottom, okay? Hold the handle firmly to the door. Take your Allen, take your Allen, your Allen wrench, okay? Tighten it back up, okay? Do not over tighten this. Just give a little tug like that, that's secured. Because if you over tighten it, you run into a chance of stripping the inside out, okay? And you may crack it. Because it's all it is is like a soft aluminum, okay? Boom, that one's done. Shut the shut the freezer door. That one, now the handle's on. Now we grab the refrigerator handle. It's here, okay? Pull pull on the refrigerator door. Put your foot basically do the same process, which is right there, right down there. Okay, again. Keep your hand, keep your hand firmly here. Tighten it up. Okay, do not just don't over, do not over tighten it. Okay, do the same thing. Put your hand here. You need to bring your hand down lower too to make it more secure. Okay, and then tighten it up, like I'm doing here. And that's it. There you go. Done. Done. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, the tool that I use in this video, okay, will be linked down in the description box below. Um, I, the cup is just a regular plastic house holds cup, okay? You can even use like a small little container, okay, plastic, okay? Just don't use glass, okay? Um, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And, and, if, and if anybody is new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any videos that I do. See you, see you in the next video. Peace.